What's up everyone? This is Eric and Kelly. In this video, we're going to talk about the seven steps you need to know about budgeting. So stay tuned. What's up everyone? This is Eric Yip and Kelly Wheaton. I'm a local real estate agent and Kelly's a financial consultant and in this video, we're actually going to talk about um, budgeting as well as in future videos, we're going to talk about everything about finances, real estate. So make sure you subscribe and smash that like button because that really helps us um, with our videos and this way we can make more content for you guys. So anyways, let's get right to it. So first of all, what's the very first step we need to know about budgeting? Well, the first step is it's a dreaded B word. Nobody likes to budget. Eee. It's like dieting. We have good intentions. Uh, nobody wants to diet. I know. It's, it's it just sounds so hard. But you know what? Right. It doesn't actually have to be that hard. No? You know, okay. it can be as simple as the hardest part really is getting started. Okay. Okay. So, so yes. get started. Sit down and know what it costs to be you. Okay. So you have your income coming in. Right. You need to know right away where's your income going. Where's your money going? You got your rent. You beer. Got, you got your beer. You got your entertainment. You got your utilities. All of these things can, you know, they're going to factor in. Right. So, how to overcome the hump of thinking that budgeting is such a horrible thing? Nobody wants to budget. You know, you people think of it as a straitjacket that it's I'm not going to be able to do things. I have to get rid of Netflix. All of these things. That no. doesn't always mean you have no to Netflix. Stop budgeting is actually going to help you with freedom. Yeah. Okay. I know it might not sound like it, but it's going to help free your mind of where you want to go. Free, free, free. We should play a song. Freedom. Is there a song? Freedom? Probably. Okay. Sure we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna add that in there. Okay. So first thing you want to do, know where you're at. Know what it costs to be you. Know where your money's going. Okay. So it's, it's a real self check. Okay? All right. Create a schedule. So what that is that, means, is that step number two? That's step number okay, two. Step number two. One is know where you're at. So know where your money's going. Yep. Step two is create a plan and a schedule. All right. So what that means is you have your specific things that you're going to be spending on. Okay. We call them non-negotiables. All right. Got to pay your rent. Got to pay your utilities. Okay. How much are you going to pay for groceries? Things like that. Beer. Put that in there. If, All right. If you want those things, they have to go into your budget. Okay. Okay. So then you want to track your progress. All right. You can live by jars or the envelope. What that means is live mm -hmm. by cash. All right. Credit cards and lines of credits, that's what's getting us in trouble. Mm. We are wanting more than our money is allowing us to purchase right now. All right. Okay. So it's it's also creating a habit of being able to do this. Yep. You want to pay off debts. And okay. I know debt's a four-letter word we don't like to hear. And a lot of people are thinking right now, oh my gosh, I'm having trouble paying off my debts. Yep. Well, when you're budgeting, you're actually paying with intention and mm -hmm. you're spending with purpose. Right. So you want to pay those high interest things off first. Okay. And then what you're paying for those, roll it down to the next bill and then roll it down to the next bill. But get okay. one thing paid off at a time. It's like, it's a reward to yourself. You feel accomplished. Okay. You know, if you have five things you got to pay off, yeah. start with a high interest one first. All right. And then it snowballs after that. Okay. And by being able to do that, it will free your mind on being able to do other things. We get impulsive. Yeah. That's the worst part. So let's say if you have multiple credit cards, one credit card has a higher balance but a low interest rate versus one that has a smaller balance with a higher interest rate, you still want to pay off the higher interest one first. Yes. So typically it's called the rule of 72. Okay. So what that is... 70. Two. Things we did not learn in school. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did not come up with this. You can Google it. It was Albert Einstein. Yep. Rule of 72 is take 72 divided by your interest rate. Okay. That means that's how long it takes your money to double, whether it's investments yep. or whether it is in your debts. Okay. So if you think of credit cards at 20%, yep. everyone pull out your calculators. Calculator, everyone. 72 okay. divided by yep. 20 is what? I suck at math. I have no so idea. Either. I have no idea neither. Okay. So I'm guessing it is phone 2.3 or something like that. 
Summers around there. 2.356. Oh, 3.6. 3.6. Okay. All right. So what that means is if you owe I got the six right. If you owe ten grand on your credit card, yep. in three point six years it will double. If you do not pay that off. Do you mean the interest or the balance will double? The balance will double. Oh. That's why it seems like we can never get things paid off. No kidding. That's why you want to get those higher interest cards paid off first. Right. Still pay your minimum on the yep. lower interest. Right. Pay off the higher interest. That's a good one. I Remember am. that. 72. You're I know. paying a lot of money. There, yeah. are, there are apps out there that yep. will also help you with your budgeting. Yep. If, if you're not a calculator type person who can just budget all and write everything down, yeah. spend the time. Right. Give yourself grace with this because mm -hmm. that's the most important thing too is, hey, you're going to hit bumps in the road. Yeah. Things are going to happen. You don't have to be strict with yourself. Right. So basically, let's say if you have a balance of $10,000 and you're only paying the minimum within 3.6 years, that will jump to 20000 is what you're saying. Right. So you actually want to pay more than the minimum balance. Is there another formula to help speed it up a rule of 84 maybe <laughs> a rule of something unfortunately not you okay. oh. i recommend talking to a financial expert as well all right someone i mean bankruptcy is not always the final destination okay there are ways out of it okay we can look at helping people with the apps that you can get out there one you do need to know where your money's going yeah you know, if you've never heard of the to lot, your beer how much and pizza, beer, coffee, right? But when we go through the Starbucks or the Tim Hortons, and yeah. all of a sudden it's we get oh. that muffin, we get that. I want a muffin. The ice cap. I, I want that ice cap right now. Getting an ice cap. We should we should draw this I, out. Can I get for you. a large ice cap, please? Okay. How much is an ice cap, Eric? I have no idea. Four bucks. Four dollars. How many would you get a day? One. Or two? <laughs> One. Okay. One a day. But if you do that Actually, for seven, I days, have gotten two a day sometimes. Okay, say so you do two Mind a you, day. I've cut back. Zero two, a day. Okay. So even if you just do two a day, yes, for five days a week, you, you yep. the weekends you're staying Eight. home, you're not going yep. anywhere. Yep. So forty bucks. Two times four. That's yep. eight dollars a day yep. times five is forty. Yep. Pretty simple. Okay. Yes. How many weeks in a month? Four usually. So times you're spending four. forty dollars yep. a week. Yep. Times four weeks. That's a hundred and sixty dollars a month. Yes. Times twelve months, that's nineteen hundred dollars a year you've spent on this guy. Wow, I'm supporting Tim's by paying them nearly two thousand dollars a year. That's now, crazy. That's just you. Yep. Now if you have a spouse yep. and kids. Yep. And that's just on an ice cap or right. a coffee. Yes. How many times are we spending unnecessarily oh, wow. or habits? So if you have Four people times four, that's nearly 8,000 plus, nearly 9,000. And if you have five, that's 10 grand there. Yeah. It's a lot of money, guys. It's a lot of money. So, yep. not saying you can't have your ice caps. What we're saying is maybe break it down to one a day. Mm -hmm. Or if it's two, three times a week. Yep. You know, and then create the habits of not doing it. Yeah. Set a goal. Right. You know, we talk about goals and dream building and all this stuff, and people are yeah. like, ugh, whatever, that's BS. Mm. Yes. BS is also belief system. Okay. <laughs> that's what I started to use. Okay. Set a goal of what you want. Okay. If you don't want... I want an ice cap! If you want an ice cap, reward yourself with that for something you've been able to overcome. Okay. So not to say, I want it. Yep. Do you really? Oh, I really want it. But do you really? <laughs> oh, I really want it. Do you want that ice cap or? I do. Do you want to be able to do that trip to Mexico? I want the ice cap and take the trip. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we want to work towards is so that okay. you can have both. Cool. But why don't, I don't know, double fisted, two ice caps and two trips. <laughs> okay. That comes down to income. Okay. Does your income support that? So. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. Yep. But sometimes we have to help you get out of where you're at yep. to see where your money's going okay. to then go, wow, I actually have more money than I thought. Yeah. Cool. Or, wow, maybe I am worse than I thought. Yeah. But you never know right. until you actually take a look out of it. Yeah. And avoidance, 
Behavior is the worst thing to do. Yeah, for sure. Yep, you bet. So that that was number step number two. Uh oh gosh, I think that was like three or four in there. <laughs> oh, three or four in there. Okay. okay. So one, know where you're at. Know where you're at. Two, create a schedule. Create a schedule. A plan and track it all. So that's okay. Kind of all two. All right. You know, three is live a cash lifestyle for a little while. Okay. So that means don't use your credit cards. Right. Pay your bills through cash. Yep. If you don't have the cash, that means you don't buy it. Okay. All right. Then, you know, the fourth is get an app to help you. Okay. You know, it can help you track your progress. Yep. Otherwise, you, know, you, you carry you, a book around with you wherever you, know you what, go. Do you know what kind of apps are, are out there that people could use? There's, I think it's, no, nope, Noom's the diet one. <laughs> that also helps too. But there's a lot of Dave Ramsey. Yeah. You can go online. There's a lot of great content out there. Get a worksheet. Yeah. Things like that. If you're a tech savvy person, just yeah. Google budgeting apps. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then... That's the fourth one. Yep. Have a goal. Okay. Have a goal that you're striving for. Yep. If you are wanting to go on a vacation, right? Well, then maybe look at scale back of okay, maybe I don't need all of those ice caps. Maybe yep. I don't need that chocolate bar or this toy mm, or that chocolate bar. Mm, I know all this talks make me love angry. to help. I think I have a Snickers somewhere here. <laughs> go find a Snickers. Next time we do this, we're gonna both have ice caps. Actually, Kit Kats. You like Kit Kats? <gasps> those are my favorite. Dude. I always break them and then I eat like all around them. Yeah. And then eat the layer by layer. Nice. Cool. I've only ever met one other person that ever does that. You know what I like? Crunch. I've never had those. No? Is that the toffee ones? Uh, no, not toffee. What's what's in the middle? Um, it is... Uh, a nougat. Yes, exactly. Some type of nougat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have one here. I'm going to go have one afterwards. I'm going to have an ice cap after. <laughs> that too. And the next thing is paying off debt. Pay off your high interest rates first. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And that all encompasses, you will just feel so much better about where things are headed. Yeah. And it's going to give you that freedom. Yeah. Live and spend with purpose and intention. Control it. Right. And you're going to be so much better off. And you're going to be able to retire earlier. You're going to be able to actually do more of the fun things. Retire at 28. It's possible. It's possible. Anything is possible. Yep. Love it. Well, guys, if you love this video, click that like button, smash it actually, and please subscribe because it really helps us. And also, if you know, we, we have so many people reaching out to us and we just love it. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to text us, email us, call us. And yeah, see you at the next video.